I'm Alexis Van Herkman, and welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn DaVinci Resolve grading and finishing techniques in under five minutes. In this lesson, I'm going to show you some simple asymmetric trimming techniques. This will be a fast one, but a useful editorial technique if you're cutting dialogue or action. So I'm going to move the playhead away from this particular edit between these two characters talking to one another. It's not here. So right now, this is just a simple cut audio and picture together. But if I wanted to quickly do a little something more with this, I could use asymmetric editing uh, as one way of making a split edit. Now, of course, I can just hold the option key down and drag the audio or video back and forth. But maybe I want to change the timing of what's happening a little bit. So one thing I can do is I can option click to select either the incoming or outgoing video half of the edit. And then I can command option click the opposite audio side of the edit. So you can see I've got the outgoing video, but the incoming audio selected. And with this setup, now I can drag one of these selected edit halves and you can see they move in opposite directions. So now I'm pushing the audio away from the video to create this particular split. I can also do this in trim mode. And if I do this in trim mode, you can see that now I'm rippling the video and audio in opposite directions to subtly change the timing of this conversation. So asymmetric editing, I can do this with as many selected edit points as I like. I'm just showing you the simple case because frankly this is probably how you're going to be using it most of the time. If you want more information on editing in Resolve, I strongly recommend you check out my editing in DaVinci Resolve titles from Ripple Training. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.